what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Okay, according to William Lloyd Garrison, why was Frederick Douglass's attendance at the abolitionist meeting in Nantucket fortunate? I think it said that in the chapter one. Oh, that was in the letter. I didn't read the letter part of it. Wait a minute. You had me to turn this camera on. And you're ready to do <laughs> I read chapter one, not the letter from Wendell Phillips. Well, that was part of it. I didn't know. I Cut. didn't read that last. Okay, can let's see. How, what can you answer? You are not prepared. According to Wendell Phillips, why might the Declaration of Independence be worthless? Well, it doesn't help to sit there with the book. Right now, you might as well go back and read. You read five chapters, but didn't read that. I didn't think it would be important. Okay, what you didn't think it would be important? <laughs> oh gosh! And this is only the first page of the whole assignment. You know we can do the second the page. page. Why didn't Douglas know his mother very well? Because he was separated from her at birth. Who did Douglas think was his father? He thought it was his slave owner. How were the slaves of, how were the slave children of white men treated? They were treated, hmm. Were they educated? Yeah. Were they fed well? Yeah. What did they do? Did they work in the fields? They worked more in the house. Okay. More housework than field work. Who was Mr. Plummer and how did he behave towards the slaves? Mr. Plummer was the slave's overseer and he behaved very, very wrong and derogatory. He enjoyed whipping them. Hmm. Describe the incident involving Douglas's aunt that he witnessed. How did the incident affect him and why do you think it affected him so strongly? Hmm. Let's see, we'll start off with the incident was that his aunt was supposed to be present because the slave, her uh, slave owner wanted, to, wanted her to be present and she had not been turned up. So they looked for her, they found her, and there, um, and uh, the overseer had cursed her out, called her a derogatory word, and uh, had killed her. First, well, I'd use this word, hog tied her, and whipped her till she bled her. Mm -hmm. This, this incident how did it affect him? Was, it, how it affected him? Okay, it affected him. It affected him by it, it brought a new perspective to him by showing him that. They're not just nice to, like, they're not just gonna... They're? The slave owners? The slave owners are not just gonna be... They're not just gonna be cruel. They'll be cruel to the point where they kill you. They don't care. So he didn't He didn't respect them. Yeah, they don't respect. Why do you think it affected him so strongly? I think it affected him so strongly for two reasons. One, it was because it was his aunt and... Two, I don't think he'd ever seen something like that. But yet he thought the slave master was his father. Yeah. So but that wasn't the slave master. That was the overseer, Mr. Well, Plummer. yeah. Why do you think Douglas's master did not want Aunt Hester to visit Ned? Support your answer with evidence. Uh, I don't exactly remember that. So you have to go back and yeah. go to number eight. Why do you think whipping slaves was so common because they had animals back and they were able to make whips with the cow leather sometimes pig leather so why do you think that they were reluctant to working they were reluctant. in the first place in the first place 
they didn't want to work, they would repeat them. Douglas comments that the masters having children with their slaves benefit them economically, but will undermine the existence of slavery in the long run. What does he mean? Well, by, um, by economically, they'll have a lot more money to use and undermine the existence of slaves in the long run. Yeah, how do they explain intermingling with us and <laughs> causing us to have mixed race yeah, it can when mix, they're denying slavery still to this go, day? Mixed race, it would probably do skin tone. It would be a skin tone change. Their skin would either be lighter or darker, and mainly it would be lighter. So how do they explain slavery, though? Do they just say we were just workers asking for the work? No. And they, they paid they us? They forced us to work. They can't explain that, right? No. And the condition still exists today? Yeah. So they basically did it for their own gain. Okay, so you have to go back and read the letter and before we can continue. That was the first part. Now, are you doing all of this orally or you are going to, I think... I'll write it down after. The rest of the questions are... Uh, there's some things that you have to answer here yeah this is once he got older and he left so there are things do you want are you going to do all of this orally or you're going to write we'll do some of the writing. you have a quiz here for chapter two i'll probably do the quiz I like too. all right you need to go back and read that letter before i can continue the video is at seven minutes now so. all right all right where are you going with that chair i'm finished little boy all right okay according to William Lloyd Garrison while was Frederick Douglass attendance at the abolitionist meeting in Nantucket fortunate it was to it was fortunate for the people that were bound or unbound because it was trying to it was important for them to know about Negro emancipation. And so that's what he was teaching them. He yeah. was he was educating them about. Okay, according to Wendell Phillips, why might the Declaration of Independence be worthless? Because mostly all it says about slaves is shooting the slaves, and they had no legal protection. So the the slaves could not be protected by the laws. So. And that so was their only The slave, the, the overseers and slaveholders could do they could kill them. whatever and they would not get punished. So the, so the Declaration of Independence did not. They could tie them to four horses, mutilate their bodies, and then ha whip the horses and make them run in all different directions and get them ripped apart. So it did not apply to It us. didn't apply to legal. So it wasn't helpful at all. No. And so that is the reason why we are not to celebrate what? Mm. What? What is the Declaration of Independence? Oh, Independence Day. Uh-huh. Yeah. Because we were not even free. For those that do not know, please educate your children. That is why we don't, That's this is just one holiday, but we weren't even free. So why are you out there shooting fireworks? Why are you shooting fireworks? when you were still in bondage. And that's my little tangent. Um, okay, you already did that. So... Oh, and then... What? The past is the greatest indicator of the future. Mm-hmm. Why do you think there's something called a reputation? That's pretty much what it is. All right, so let's see if there is. What was the next one? I don't know if I'm going to ask you all of them here. How did Douglas feel about leaving his relatives to go to the city? 
Is that in chapter one? I think that's chapter two. Was he looking forward to it? Was he dreading it? Was he sad because he knew he would miss his family? Or he didn't want to go, so he tried to hide? I think it was on... You think? I can't remember that one. It was C. He was sad? Yeah. Because he knew he would miss his family? Okay, this says answer each question in two to three complete sentences. How was Douglas's early childhood different from the descriptions he gives of the adult slaves? <coughs> Douglas's early childhood was different, mainly because he was born, oh, not to be born of a white father. So he was a privileged. Slave, an owner father. Uh, his, uh, his owner was his uh, dad. He was privileged, um, Douglas was privileged with the, um, privileged, um, with the, the ability to learn how to read, read, write, and spell, and other things. Along with that, he was also, he was also able to work inside of the house more than going out to do field work. So the other, the other, the adult the others, slaves. The adult slaves had to go do field work. They were treated no different than any, than anybody else, you know. Explain the treatment of the slaves who were responsible for care, caring for Colonel Lloyd's horses. The slaves responsible for, caring Look for up. Colonel Lloyd's horses. Well, there were two. I forgot their names but one was senior and one was junior and they were always supposed to take care of the horses they couldn't talk back they couldn't say anything in return to what he said or it would result in weapons or punishment one of the two had jumped into a body of water and was told to get out he gave the uh, the overseer gave him three prompts he said no to all three and was shot. So what happened when Douglas first arrived in the city? Uh, he was given an allowance. By? I uh, don't know that one. So it's gone. I think it's my dad. Mm. That's my dad. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Dad? Dad? Happy birthday. I was gonna call you. Is he old? <laughs> Mom just told me to ask if you were old. <laughs> no, I did not. <laughs> oh, he's older than me. I'm good. I'm good. I'm just uh, doing work. You have to tell him about that book you read. Yeah, I am. I'm keeping it cool. What incident did you find most horrific? The incident I found most horrific, in my, in my own words, and um, in my interpretation of it. When uh, when the, the guy who had to get care for the stay um, careful the um horses got killed. Why was that horse so horrific? Because I mean, he was yes he had retaliated, but he didn't. The man didn't care. He had shot him and walked away with a sense of pride and. Happiness and nothing with, as Douglas saw, no sign of guilt. And, I mean, yeah, it was different back then, but I couldn't imagine living then because I don't know how it, how it was, you know? So I wouldn't know if people felt one way or another. Well, let's say, did you find most horrific? That's what I found most horrific. Based on the description in Chapter 5, what did you expect Douglas's life to be like in the city? Provide details. I expected it to be slightly better. Not much, but 
I expected it to be slightly better for him. What do you mean, how? Elaborate. How better? Well, well, not slightly, but say, out of ten, and so, his life was at, say his life was at a two, and it was out of ten, it would move up to a seven. Well, so, seven so what made it okay. not? Five. It moved up to a five. Okay, so what happened in the city that it wasn't so good? He 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 was in the city now. I mean, he what? had to. He got to see different things. And wasn't he able to go and speak to go, people? He would go to see people a lot and talk to people. But, I mean, he was still under slavery for a while. Uh -huh. So, he didn't have... He wasn't completely free. free. He didn't okay. have the benefits of a free man. That's what I was trying to get you to say. Yeah. Okay, here's your quiz. Which part of the following was not usually given to slaves? Beds. All right. So, it was pork, fish, beds, or linen shirts. Why did slave children often go naked? Mm. The wind, the winter was. Uh, it they didn't need clothes. See, they, see, winter was the weather was winter warm, winter. and they didn't need clothes. Yeah. Okay. It was. It reminded them of their African roots. They were never given clothing. Their clothes clothes were out. Scattered what was the real reason slaves sang? See, because they were powerful. Okay. And it was uh, they were very happy. B, they were forced by, uh, and they were forced by their masters. C, they were very sorrowful. Or D, they were they allowed were to allowed do to do it, so they did. But so, that's also how they communicated, right? Yeah. That's where the Negro spirituals came from. Yeah. How did Colonel Lloyd attempt to catch slaves who stole from his garden? He, um, where is that one at? Uh, 24 hour guard oh, employed I'm other slaves. He put tar around it. He, yeah, he tar defense. defense so okay, that would so that's it. D. Yeah. Would be found. Why wasn't Mr. Hopkins arrested for shooting Demby? Mm, there was no witnesses. He was. He bribed a judge, his boss protected him, or people who kill slaves were usually not persecuted. D. Exactly. Because they had no legal protection. How, How he was treated by Daniel Wood? A. He was kind, and he was his pet and treated kindly. He was often brutally beaten for no for reason. C. He was ignored. D. Was I would say D. He was his friend. Yeah. Why did Douglas not work in the field at Colonel Lloyd's plantation? He was crippled. B. He was too young. C. He was in training. D. He was, he was adept, adept at running away and it wouldn't work. Seemed to, he was too young. Okay. How did Douglas and the other little ones eat? Okay, I'm reading I'm reading this. A he um they at a table in the big house. B in the field does it work? C from whatever they forage on the ground, D from a pig's Troll. Tro what's that? The 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 long Oh pan. Yeah. Where they line up like um pigs. Pigs and, and they have pigs and they just dig their heads and eat. Yeah. yeah. Cows too, they have yeah. cow trolls too. Uh, so, how did they eat? In the big house, because, well, depending on who they were, the slave owner's children? Mm-hmm. Mm mm -hmm. Yeah. Then, A. How was Douglas greeted by the Alls? He was greeted with, uh, they greeted him warmly. B, they seemed especially mean, even from the beginning. C, they yelled at him for being dirty. D, they were annoyed by his poor match. I would say, C. Who was Frederick Douglass's mother? A. He never knew. B. Just answer the question. You don't have to read all the multiple choice questions. Okay, it was C. Okay. Say the say her Harriet name. Bailey. Okay. What kind of overseer was Mr. Plummer? B. Brutal and barbaric. Barbaric. What incident introduced young Douglas to the horrors of slavery? 
because we just talked about this, right? Yeah, his mother died. Was it his mother or was it his I aunt? I said his mother, right? That's the only answer I see, so. Oh, no, his aunt. Yeah. His aunt, yeah, right? Because he didn't know his mother, right? I thought she was dead. I thought she got killed at that moment. Uh-huh, but he didn't, get to, he didn't get to meet her. He yeah. was a baby. So, it was his aunt. I mean, I thought his aunt got killed at that moment. Yeah, but that was the horror because he didn't know his mother. His mother died. No, it was when his see, whenever his aunt got whipped. Mm -hmm. I, didn't think, I thought I thought she got killed at that moment. That's why. Why was Douglas protected from the negative effects of slavery for so long? I'm reading. Them. Because he was his master's special pet. Yeah. He stayed on the outskirts, away from the work of the slaves. D, all the above. <laughs> Okay, just a second. What was the cow skin used for? <laughs> to beat the slaves. What did Douglas believe would eventually undermine the institution of slavery? Oh. I was going to help. Yeah. Was... What did Douglas believe would eventually undermine the institution of slavery? Hmm. Slaves being murdered, the Underground Railroad, masters having children with their slaves, or slaves being educated. I mean, see, it's kind of hard to read upside down. Looks okay, like <laughs> read the read the next question. Okay, okay. so it's seven, right? Yeah, seven. seven. Why did Why didn't Captain Aaron Anthony want Aunt Astrid to visit Ned? A. She was owned by Colonel Wood. B. She was pretty. C. Ned might be a I'm Ned. Was not to be a bad influence. G, she might escape. It was because of C. Why did Camp Captain Anthony want Aunt Hester to visit Ned? C. Ned was known to be a bad influence. Yeah, it was C. Actually, it was C. Who was raised? Who raised young Frederick? A, his mother D. Wood C. His grandmother D. Aunt Hester. His grandmother. <coughs> Okay, this is prob that's probably the last. He met his mother about four or five times. And that was it before she died. All right. We're not going to do all of this. This is enough of that. These are things that you are going to do on paper. Let me get your writing. Okay, so some of this you have to write. Yeah. All right. Well, that is enough for today. I'm not liking this. What do you say? Good. Um, thank you for watching. Subscribe. Okay, what is it? A prey mantis. Oh, where is it? Let me see. Right here. See that green? Hold on. Here, turn around. Oh, okay, it's right there. That's the prenatus. Oh, I see it moving. You just found that outside. Who put it in the jar? Um, I did. You did? Yeah. You, you weren't afraid to pick it up? No. What you have, Tariq? Mom, it's a prenatus. Oh, boy. I'm going to touch it. I bet you touch Tariq, everything. Is that poison? Is that poison? No, but it might bite. <laughs> Why do prematuses bite? I think you need to read about them, right? Yeah. So you can learn more about them? Yeah. Okay. Good job finding it. Uh, no, one of our friends walking. Zod! Oh, you see Zod through the window? I'm going to touch it. Sweet, can I touch the mom? Yeah, you can touch it. Is it poison? No. It won't bite. Right. <laughs> I touched it. You touched it? Yeah. I'll, I'll, mom, can I make all of us a